Germans love their board games, and an absolute classic is Fang den Hut or Catch the Hat. Teams of little hats move around the board trying to catch one another or the special golden hat. But today we're putting a political twist on this family favourite and playing Catch the Voter. Here are our parties, raring to go, ready for the race to Parliament. They stretch from the far left of the political spectrum to the far right, and they're all trying to get our voter to support them. But who is this voter, and what do they want from the parties? Round one, the numbers. All German citizens over the age of 18 can vote in federal elections. That's a total of 60.4 million people, just over half of whom are women. It's a pretty multicultural group, with almost a third having at least one parent who was born in another country. One of the most interesting aspects is age. Less than 15% of the voting population are younger than 30. Nearly 40% are over 60, and half of those are over 70. It also matters where the voters are. Germany's cities and regions have strong local identities. Their priorities are affected by things like the local economy, infrastructure, and even religion. Round two, the issues. Some of the issues on voters' minds are very much signs of the times. No prizes in this game for guessing that the COVID-19 pandemic is right up there. In Germany, the regional state authorities have a lot of decision-making power in areas like health and education. During the pandemic, this led to a patchwork of different rules across the country. But what do voters want to see done at the federal level? Dass die nächste Regierung sich den Problemen widmet, die durch die Corona-Pandemie wieder in den Vordergrund gerückt sind, wie zum Beispiel die stockende Digitalisierung. First is ensure full immunization of the complete population in Germany. Second is no more lockdowns. I want my future government um, to restore my freedom. We have to be prepared. If there is a mutation on it, then we have to be prepared to answer to that as quick as possible. Next up, climate change. A topic that's difficult to ignore after the deadly floods in Germany this summer. In a recent survey, more than 80% of participants said they want to see urgent action on climate protection, a view shared across generational and party lines. Naturkatastrophen waren immer sehr weit weg und im Moment ist es direkt vor der Haustür. Abgesehen davon habe ich das Gefühl, dass gerade die ganze Welt brennt. I think we need an earlier coal phase out and instead invest in more renewable energy. Ich uh, hoffe, dass die nächste Regierung etwas mehr in unseren Alltag angreift, dass uh, wir spüren, dass es nicht mehr so weitergehen kann. You need to propose solutions for all the um, for all the cuts you're going to make in the, in the social life, in the industry. Immigration and foreign policy have of course been huge topics in Germany in recent years, and they're back in focus following recent developments in Afghanistan. This is one area that polarizes voters, and it has pushed some away from the larger centrist parties. Deutschland sollte bei der Flüchtlingsfrage deutlich mehr regulieren, kontrollieren und zur Not auch abschieben. Wir brauchen Arbeitskräfte und diese Menschen brauchen einen Wohnort. Vor allem, wenn man bedenkt, dass Deutschland in vielen Fällen auch direkt an, an, der, an der Ursache der, der, der Flucht für diese Menschen beteiligt ist. Finde ich auch, dass innerhalb der EU Lösungen gefunden werden müssen, wie das ähm, fair verteilt werden kann unter den Ländern. Issues which always feature heavily include education, the economy and jobs, security, and the distant dream of digitalization. And remember all those over 60s voters? Their voting power is clear in the prominence of Rentenpolitik or pension policy in the party manifestos. Final round, voter behavior. Germany hasn't yet jumped on the worldwide trend towards personality-driven politics. Once again, in this year's lineup of chancellor candidates, there's no sign of a larger-than-life maverick or celebrity-turned-politician. But in any case, voters here don't directly elect the chancellor. They vote for members of parliament, and they're the ones who'll decide who gets Angela Merkel's old job. Each voter does, however, have two votes, one for a local candidate and one for a party on the national level. This means they could vote tactically for two different parties, focusing on local issues with their first vote and ideological interest with the second. In the last election in 2017, a quarter of voters split their ballots in this way. While TV is still the main source of information for most Germans, the switch to digital platforms has begun, with smaller parties, especially on the right, having made the most ground so far. 
Some of the larger parties are trying to catch up on Facebook, hoping to bag themselves some boomers, but they've also begun to make a play for younger voters on platforms like TikTok, with varying degrees of success and plenty of cringe. So on September the 26th, it's time to roll the dice again. Which groups will have the biggest turnout? Men or women, young or old, people in the east or west, or people in the cities or in the countryside? And what will be going through their minds in the voting booth? Will it be migration, jobs, climate, or simply the faces of the top candidates? It's all to play for in the 2021 finale of Catch the Voter.